Welcome back to PWA for Beginner series. Today we're starting chapter two, which is all about service workers. Again, my name is Beth. I am your host and also a software engineer for Microsoft, uh, specifically in the Windows group. If you would like to follow me on Twitter and ask some questions afterwards, there's my Twitter handle on the screen. Here with me is Zach. Zach, would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah. Um, hey, everyone. I'm Zach. I'm a software engineer on the PWA Builder team. Um, I work on tooling and documentation related to progressive web apps. Cool. We have a real person from PWA Builder team <laughs> here now. <laughs> so let's go ahead and start this uh, conversation. In the last chapter, Patrick kind of gave you know a quick introduction to service workers. And we're going to do some quick recaps and go into a little bit more detail. So tell me, what is a service worker? Yeah, so service workers can be thought of as a layer between your progressive web app and the network. Um, any request that is sent by your PWA will first go through the service worker. Um, and in that service worker, we can add custom functionality for how these requests are handled. Um, you can think of a service worker as a checkpoint where we take hands-on control over network calls from our PWA. Very cool. Um, do we talk about how do service workers operate? How do they operate? Yeah, well, without going into too much detail, service workers are a special type of web worker, which run on a separate process from the rest of your app. The script that runs in your service worker is non-blocking and primarily is centered around event listeners, which means that you don't have to worry about it interfering with the rest of your app. Cool. The user can freely interact with your app's interface while the service worker handles events in the background. That's awesome. Um, we were, I think you were talking a little bit of something running in the background. Why are, so why are service workers important? What do, what do they bring? Yeah, so the importance of service workers really starts to shine through when our PWA doesn't have access to the network. Um, web apps are classically dependent on a network connection, and service workers are a workaround for when we can't connect. We can use a service worker to define behavior for requests when the network is unavailable. Uh, we can keep our apps functional and interactive, even when offline. That's a really cool recap. Uh, of what a service worker is. So if you don't remember from chapter one, you've heard the recap from Zach. Thank you, Zach, for joining us. Um, like usual, here are all the resources where you can go explore progressive web apps on your own. There are going to be four total videos of chapter two, and we are going to talk about, from a developer perspective, how to work with them in the next video. Stay tuned. Thank you.